we're going to show you how to make hackle out of deer hair. Okay, this is a, a caddis pattern that we're going to put a hair hackle on. Seems kind of uh, confusing, but with this new uh, multi-clamp that I have, it, it makes it a little bit easier. It's kind of a cool effect, and it's a really buoyant fly. So first things first, I've got a dry fly hook in, and I'm going to wrap the body. Oh, I've got to stop drinking soda before I film this. All right, so I've got, I've got the thread wrapped down the shank, and I'm just going to throw a little bit of squirrel in this. Uh, I've got some gray squirrel mixed with lavender ice dub that makes a really cool effect. We have some UV squirrel tracer dub as well if you wish want to buy it in the package. We're just going to create a, a buggy body on this. About right to there and the wing on this is going to be CDC so I'm going to take two fairly bushy pieces of CDC that I have pre-selected and I'm going to grab those with the, the multi clamp so I'm just going to hold those slide the clamp up grab some section grab those uh, like half of the CDC and I can use the other half a different time and now I can just kind of lightly open the, the jaws and slide all that CDC down and grab it into a clump. So once I have that clump, I'm going to pick out some of the, the long stragglers and I'll just tie that in right here. And instead of trimming that off, I'm just going to pull those fibers over on top of themselves and we've got a CDC overwing here. Now if that's a little bit too long just come in here and break it with your your fingernails. Alright so I've got some X caddis deer hair. Um, it's a very fine deer hair. It's This is the natural dark color and this clamp is designed where you can just kind of come in here and clamp on some deer hair and tie it in, but I'm, I'm actually going to align the tips of the deer hair first. All right, so I'm going to use a hair stacker to even those tips. So when I pull those out of there, they'll be nice and lined up. And I pulled those out the wrong way. So if I pull them out like this because I'm right-handed, it's facing my right hand, I'm going to grab the tips of that deer hair and hold it in my left hand. Now I, I could try to put it in a dubbing loop just like this, but if I stick it in this multi-clamp it makes it a little bit easier and it also helps flatten out the deer hair so when I put it in the loop and twist it up it will spin nice and evenly. So the other thing is this, this nice pointed area of this multi-clamp allows me to take the deer hair and just kind of shove it up in the loop closest to the hook shank. So I'm going to take the hair and place it in the loop about like that. So you can see where the tips are. I can see through the, the clamp. The tips are about as long as I want them to be. Pull out any stragglers and now I'll just trim the hair where I want it to be, just like that. So I have a little clump of deer hair goodness. I want to create a, a dubbing loop just a little bit longer than the actual clamp itself. And before I start this, I'm going to drink. <laughs> I'm going to bogart my own dubbing loop. All right, so I've got my dubbing loop. I stick the gator grip tool in. That's just the tool of choice that I have. As you can see, I use it. The paint's starting to chip off of it. That's after thousands of flies. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the whole clamp and shove that whole thing in my loop. As you can see, the thread's on the outside. And I'm going to put my finger right on the clamp like this, so when I take it out, it will kind of just snap into place where I need to leave it. It's easy to pull the hair out too far and uh, just have a mess on your hands. It takes a little bit of practice. So here, I can actually take this hair and adjust it so that there's just a little bit of butts, butt ends. So if you look at that loop, that's deer hair. It looks like one hair is lined up one after the other. It's a very clean loop. And if I keep talking, I'm going to screw it up. So I'm going to shut up and twist. Need to adjust it a little bit more. All right. And as you'll see, it twists up really nice and evenly. So look at that. That's pretty awesome. Curtis just made an audible gasp because it's awesome. All right, from here, don't worry about binding too many fibers down, but just kind of pull the fibers back as you wrap it forward. Keep in mind this is deer hair, so if you catch some of them, you can just pull down and it will flare. So we'll clip that off and maybe even push that head back just a tiny bit. Freeing all those fibers back, easier said than done. All right, not quite done yet. So from here, we can take a little brush and pick the hair out. As you can see, it's got a really nice shape to it, but to, to get it to sit a little bit lower in the water, I'm just gonna trim the bottom of this. And what that does is it leaves a packed deer hair head right at the front of the fly. Super buggy looking, and it'll allow the fly to sit down in the film. So. As you can see, that's just a pretty simple three material fly that's gonna float forever and that, that deer hair hackle head is gonna, is gonna be super durable.